Hey guys, this is Greg, uh, one of the Pocus Fellows here at Sick Kids. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you about a recent case I had. Um, kind of an interesting uh, patient population to look at, not someone we see every day in the emergency department uh, and for sort of an odd reason. Um, Basically, I had a 20-hour-old baby that was sent from a newborn nursery um, with concerns for uh, some testicular enlargement and uh, some swelling. Um, and, you know, it was sort of an odd case. We don't get this very often, but uh, essentially a newborn exam had shown that this baby had uh, what seemed to be a unilateral testicle, so a testicle on one side, but on the other side that wasn't apparent and then on that side the actual testicles seemed to be a bit more enlarged than they were expecting with maybe some swelling um, and so they sent the baby to our uh, ED with concerns for potential neonatal torsion. Um, so um, what I'm going to show you today is just some videos uh, that we saw at the time of um, and in the first clip what you can see here is that this testicle is indeed uh, unusual looking. So the testicle itself is uh, hyperechoic in the periphery, uh, and then when we actually put some flow on it, you can see that the testicle does not seem to have much flow showing. Um, now this is something that in, in many cases isn't uh, uncommon in terms of not seeing flow, um, but in this case was actually a true torsion, and this is a child that had actually had a torsion that occurred sometime during the pregnancy, unfortunately. Um, the infant was eventually taken to uh, the operating room by the urology team here, um, but unfortunately it, uh, it did show that the, uh, the testicle itself um, was no longer viable. Um, the other side where the testicle wasn't uh, actually felt clinically um, was actually a, a, a testicle that seems to have actually torsed as well. Um, and when we actually looked in the inguinal canal of this child, uh, it seemed that there was uh, what, what was the, the vestigial remains of a testicle um, still apparent. So a very small, um, hyperechoic uh, looking structure that was seen in the inguinal canal. Um, and so in this case, unfortunately, this child had had a bilateral test, uh, testicular torsion um, and therefore uh, was going to have some significant issues going forward and needed to be referred for endocrinology assessment. Um, this is an interesting case because uh, certainly these, these cases are described in the radiology literature, but they're not something that necessarily is likely to come through an ED very often and still, in the same respects, uh, represent a surgical emergency given the um, sort of degree to which uh, uh, this will have a lifelong impact. Um, so just something to be aware of uh, if you're being referred a very young infant uh, with concerns around the testicle. If you like videos like this and others, please follow our YouTube channel and of course follow us on Twitter. Uh, my Twitter handle is at PEMTweety, that's P-E-M-T-W-E-E-T-Y. Um, thanks for following.